Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Sorry for not uploading for a while. I didn't really feel like live streaming because I was too lazy to have my setup ready for live streaming. So I decided not to live stream for a while. Anyways, in this video I'll be talking about my thoughts on RFS, or Real Flight Simulator, when it is, when it will be released, and why you should get it. So if you don't know what RFS is, it is Real Flight Simulator, made by the Rotos team or the people who made Extreme Ratings, Airline Commander, Air Fighters, etc. It is still in public release f or beta for Android users only, but in the latest trailer of Real Flight Simulator, it shows a release date of, of the simulator on July 25th, 2019 f for iOS users. When I first heard of the simulator, I was really excited about it, but it was sadly on Android only, which made me a little sad about it, but again, it was just like Airline Commander where um, they had a Android beta, and then when it's ready, it'll be released on iOS, because it will be more stable. I just saw some videos. It looked like Infinite Flight, to be honest. Like, some, some of the user interfaces looked like Infinite Flight. Um, for example, in the f if you're in the flight, some of the buttons and positioning of stuff that looks similar to Infinite Flight. That's pretty much the reason why people criticized the simulator and said that RFS looked like um, Infinite Flight when they first saw it. People thought that Real Flight Simulator was being a ripoff from Infinite Flight. Yeah, I actually kind of agreed with that, but then it's made by Rotos. You never know what they'll add because they have live instruments and all that. Yeah, although it looks like Infinite Flight, yeah. It has features that Infinite Flight doesn't. The features that Real Flight Simulator has is multiplayer, same as um, from Infinite Flights. Um, you can make custom liveries, which Infinite Flight doesn't have. So you can make custom liveries. You have an online chat, so while you're in flight, you can chat with people while you're in mid-flight. It's, it's just like Vatsim private chatting, but it's actually a public chat. It's different from the ATC, the interactive ATC, and the chat and all that. You have cold and dark states, so you can either start with cold and dark or nothing on. You also have sits and stars. You have procedures of certain departure routes. So, for example, um, Baltimore. If you want to go south, you either have Conley 3 departure or fix it 2. They have live cockpit instruments for all aircraft. And much more. It's like a ton of features. Anyways, on to the money. You don't. You do have to pay for getting the simulator itself, but just for a dollar for the early access. I don't know the official cost. It's just it was discounted according to the Play Store of the thing of the simulator in Play Store. It says it in the description that it's a beta discount price. Um, something like that. Um, I don't know if the subscription costs. I don't know how much they cost. But I know it's going to be more cheaper than Infinite Flight. Overall, I'm very excited for a real flight simulator to come out for iOS. Users, now it's out of beta. And it's going to be coming out in two days from the making of this video. I've I've waited for this moment. Like, I thought it would come out in February because it looked like it was ready. but Which is why I quitted Infinite Flight. But then I came back. But I still don't fly much in it. I still have it just in case. Most likely, I'll quit Infinite Flight when um, X-Play Mobile will come out. But I know that because of the Real Flight Simulator, I won't um, play much Infinite Flight that I used to. Yeah, I might stream more often and now that um, RFS comes out. So maybe if this view is, if this video gets like a lot of views and likes and all that, not likes, likes doesn't have to do anything, but like a lot of views and comments and all that. If we could do that, then maybe you guys can suggest routes that I could do that. Overall, it's good. Real Flight Simulator is really good. Looking forward for it. Looking forward for the future of the simulator. And how big the community will grow just because of Real Flight Simulator. And yeah, thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Take care.